So you just want to be electric, not a problem. DT just means smoothness, the higher the value the more choppy the effect will be. The lower spawn speed, the bigger the delay between when you click and when the particle starts to grow. The more control spawn you have, the fewer lines get created. The higher detect overlap, the more lines will avoid crossing each other. Discretize angle controls the type of angles the lines can travel. There are four different modes to choose from. The more fade out you have, the more the ends of the lines will fizzle out at the end. The more noise power you have, the more crazy and small the designs will get. The more noise speed you have, the more often the lines will change direction. Honestly, I'm not really sure what normal factor does? Let me know in the comments if you actually know. Particle life, min, max, x, and y just determine the bias of the lines to go up and down or left and right. For example, if you set x to zero and y to max, it's more likely to spread vertically than it is horizontally. The higher the speed, the faster the particles will spread, the lower the scatter, the more likely the particles will go in the same direction. The higher split duration, the less likely the lines are to turn, and if you want to bias towards a specific angle at the beginning, you can control that down here. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fan fantastic day and I'll see you around.